Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well, staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel, the Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Channel readings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what message comes through. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. Let's see what message comes through today. Hmm. Okay, so there's something going on between Divine Masculine and Karmic Person. So this situation here, uh, it shows that this Karmic Person feels like I won. It's like they feel like they have the upper hand, like they have control over the situation. They feel like I'm able to maneuver this in a way that I can get what I want. There's something about play, uh, playing around, like this karmic person, they recently told Divine Masculine that they want to separate. I see here that it's kind of like they did that to, to make Divine Masculine come back or to to choose them or to um, run after them, that kind of thing. It's like, Or they may have even said something like, oh, I can just walk away or I will just leave or um, I can just leave the relationship, something like that. So they're using that as, a, as I feel like, a, as a tool to to maneuver the situation so that they can control the relationship. What I see here is that it's it's going to bounce back on, on the karmic person because they think, I see here, they assume that by saying these things, I feel like in some cases this karmic may have given an ultimatum to this masculine by saying these things they think that divine masculine will will agree because they they don't want us to separate they don't the masculine doesn't want us to be in separation or divine masculine doesn't want me to walk away they love me too much or they want to stay with me or divine masculine so connected or or um, attached that's what it is, attached to me. They feel like Divine Masculine is attached to that karmic person, right? Me meaning the karmic person in this reading. So they're saying that about themselves. So when I mention about it's going to b b bounce back on this karmic person because their plan is to kind of like make the Divine Masculine stress out and worry about the karmic person wanting to walk away. I see here that's masculine. Um, when this karmic person does that, the masculine will turn their back on this karmic person, like ignore or go into a silent, silent mode kind of thing. I don't feel like they're doing it on purpose. Like, let me, let me play the silent treatment so that this karmic person panics. No, it's, because whatever this that happens here, it it really makes this divine masculine feel like I just need to be alone. I just need to think, think about this. Because I see here divine masculine thinking about the past, thinking about um, the situation between you, divine feminine, masculine, and this karmic person. So they're thinking about overall situations. Like now this karmic person is acting out. Now this person, karmic, this karmic person is giving an ultimatum or um, they're saying that they want to separate from me. And they're like, okay, so if they want their space, let them have their space and I'll have mine. So I don't see this divine masculine as playing a game with this karmic person like, oh, I will also do the silent treatment. I'll ignore them and then make them come back. No, I don't see that here. I see it as divine masculine's taking taking this as an opportunity to 
review or to to reevaluate what is happening in their current situation and and seeing the greater picture like how the things played out from the past because i feel like right now this mask feels like the the past is really important like the information in the past is really important for them to to pay attention to because it brought them to this point here it's like where did i go wrong did i make the right decisions and how did it come out to this like how did we end up here meaning how did our relationship end up here between masculine and the karmic person how did things end up this way So this divine masculine I see here, they may be alone somewhere, like, like they're having their quiet time. I feel like they don't want to talk to anybody. They're just thinking about the past. I see here, there's some things that they have been avoiding that they're starting to think about. It's like, if I need to figure this out, I need to go deep within and some whatever is deeply rooted within it's like i need to expose that i need to to see it in order to to understand or to um i feel like resolve the situation and i don't feel like resolve meaning like to fix their relationship resolve meaning like what is best for me to resolve so that i am at peace so i know that i did what i needed to do what's right for me i feel like this divine masculine is for the first time they will want to face that side of themselves that they've been avoiding for some time because i see here there's some there's some things that this masculine is not proud about when it comes to their past how they handled the situation with you how they handled the overall situation between the three of you. So the karmic partner, masculine, yours, and you, divine feminine. In some cases, this, ma this masculine had moved far away from divine feminine or maybe at a distance. And they wish they were not far from you. They wish that they didn't do that. So if they had suddenly moved, changed address, whatever the case may be, they physically moved far from you, whoever that resonates for, they regret doing that. It may have come to a shock to you, like, wow, masculine left the city, masculine left the country. And it, it made you question about what did they feel for you if it was so easily to just get up and leave so going back to this karmic person who feels like they have strength over the situation they they feel like they have the support of masculine's family whoever this is some family members that have, be, have been close to this karmic person. It's like, wow, this, this karmic person feels very confident that masculine will not leave me. Their, their family members have accepted me into the family. The family members, they love me. The family members, they will support me. The social group that Divine Masculine is, is in, they all know me. So they feel like they've planted themselves very firmly, very steady in, in Divine Masculine's life where everyone that surrounds Divine Masculine knows them. And they feel like they have some sort of like, um, it feels like, uh, like some, some sort of stability. It's like, there's no way that that I will not be in the picture because I've already situated myself in masculine life so, so much that, that it would be, I feel like it will be more difficult for divine masculine to, to live without me because 
I've become a part of their life. And I feel like it's not only about the relationship. I feel like this karmic person, there's something about being intertwined, really absorbed in Divine Masculine's life where they were probably connected in many ways in Divine Masculine's life. So it could be like, for example, if this Divine Masculine um, is part of a, like some sort of community club or something like that, right? And was a member in something. And this karmic person is also a member of that group or something like that, right? So like say if they are in some set, sort of like social like um, fundraising group, for example, like a fundraising group. Um, it's like Divine Masculine has introduced this karmic person to other people who are part of that that um, club or something, that activity group, right? So, yeah, so that's, I'm giving that as an example, but that's what I feel. It's like this karmic person has been introduced in different areas of this divine masculine's life where they are now part of their life. So if this divine masculine, for example, has a business, right? This, the, the masculine may have given a role to this karmic person where they, they are also part of the team. They are also part of certain areas of that, that um, of a project or that uh, company or something like that. So this current person is like, I will never be, a, I will never be um, away from masculine or not a part of their life because I'm, I've already situated myself very steady i planted myself so firmly in into this this environment where it's very difficult for divine masculine to make a decision to let go or to to see a life without me because i'm part of many things in this masculine life so that's the confidence i see here that they feel like even if divine masculine they feel what i see here this karmic is like even if divine masculine decides not to be a part of their life, they think that I still will get my wish fulfillment because there is some kind of things connect, connected to um, growth, abundance, something like that, material, material gain. So they feel like they will still get things even if these two um, were to separate. But I don't feel like this karmic person wants to separate. I feel like they're using this this um, ultimatum as to build a fear in masculine, but I don't see masculine being fearful of the separation. I see masculine taking these words, um, they're not taking it lightly, they're actually listening very carefully what this karmic person is suggesting or saying. And they're like, I need my quiet time, I need to reevaluate everything. Like, it, is this what I want in my life? Is this this can't be it. That's what I'm getting. This can't be it. This is not what, what I imagined for myself. So let's see what else is here. So moving up ahead, this masculine... Oh, there's something else I see here. Okay, so in that quiet time where Divine Masculine is thinking about what what they want or, and what has been taken, what has taken place up until this point, and thinking about what took took place in the past between the three of you, there's going to be a moment where this Divine Masculine will will create. Um, will create the shakeup. It's like there, there's no need for divine intervention here. It's like divine masculine will be the one who makes the decision to make the change. It's like div this karmic person has put it out there. Like if this, this, and this is not done, or if you don't do it this way, you know, I might just walk away. It's like giving that obligation of like, if something is not done in their favor, that this karmic person will walk away. I 
feel and what I mentioned before, they're doing this out of fear. But from divine side, divine masculine side, it's like, so they gave that suggestion. Let me take this seriously. If that's what, what they said, let me take this seriously. Let me think about it. And I see here Divine Masculine making the decision that, yeah, maybe we should separate because I see here this karmic person has no idea. They don't, they don't um, think Divine Masculine is going to take it to heart because they may have said this before. I feel like they may have played this game before where they gave an ultimatum. They may have said it in um, some sort of disagreement like, oh, I can just walk away. I can find somebody new if I want to. Um, there's other people who are interested in me. If that's the case, and I feel this karmic person may have said that before, something along those lines, and Divine Masculine didn't act on it then, but I see them acting on it now. It's like this time it's a little bit different because I see Divine Masculine taking it very seriously what this karmic person said, and they make the decision that, you know what, maybe it is time for me to let this go. And I see here that it is Divine Masculine's decision in this reading. Whoever this Divine Masculine is, they really put their foot down. Like this is somebody who steps into the king instantly. It's like once they have that quiet time, once they go within, they do their inner work because I see here thinking and facing the things that they really need to think about because I feel this Divine Masculine is like, you know what, I'm really tired of this this situation I'm tired of this person having so much say it's like when do I get to do what I want to do when do I get to have some I feel like not only say but I feel like this divine masculine has given their power to this situation it's like they what I feel is like they effort effortlessly like they just didn't have any control it's like they just if this karmic person say let's you know what i'm visualizing is like say if these two are on a boat right and this karmic person is like let's go left and divine masculine wants to go right this divine masculine will stir this boat left right like they'll turn this boat left only because they wanted that flow they wanted that that ease like that easy that um, I feel like that peace in that connection it's like I rather go left than face the current because they feel like if I go right which I want to do there's going to be some kind of disagreement they're like I don't want to go against the current this just feels easier so let me do it this so now this way so now this divine mask is like mm, I think I'm tired of this like, what is it? What's in it for me? So this decision of the separation, they know that there's going to be huge loss involved. Because I see here, the loss has to do with putting a lot of work into it. There's going to be a lot of talk about it. It's going to re like stir up not just their personal life, but I feel like professional life as well in some cases. There's something about them, they don't want Divine Feminine to know what is going to take place. One of the reasons why they don't want Divine Feminine to know, they, they see Divine Feminine, what I see here, they see Divine Feminine as somebody who has got things going on, like got things together. It's like, the last thing I want is Divine Feminine to worry about what's happening with me because they feel you will, you will really, they know you care. They know you love them. And to hear what they're going through or what is about to take place between these two, it's like they don't want you to stress. They don't want you to worry. They see you as somebody who's already strong. They see you as someone who's happy. They see, yeah, something about your happiness here. They see you as somebody who has created a life of their own. It's like, I don't want to shake things up for Divine Feminine. It's like, my focus right now is between me and this karmic person. And to do things the least stressful or I feel like the least complicated as possible. 
they're not sure um, what's going to happen after this. It's like, but they're willing to take that chance. They're willing to take this risk to lose it all. Like I see here, they're aware that there's going to be huge loss once these two separate. Could be even financial loss, right? So I see um, a lot having to do with what they may have like participated in together, like worked on together if these two were working in some sort of project or um, business or whatever the case may be. The amount of work and effort and energy that Divine Masculine put into that, I feel like it's Divine Masculine's baby, like whatever that project is. It was something that the Masculine created, the, some, that, what Divine Masculine was taking care of, building they created a foundation and they built this structure, you know. But this, they gave, I feel like they gave this person a chance to participate. Like on the sidelines, like, you know, like, yeah, come with me to, to you know, um, I feel like come with me to work or come with me to whatever the, the situation is. Like, you know, just be with me, right? But be, by doing that, they got they got connected to other people who are also involved in that, um, in that kind of like group or that business, whatever that work environment is, right? The new beginning for this Divine Masculine is not going to be easy because it starts with a lot of loss here. Um, so they're not sure what's going to follow after the separation or after they they talk to this karmic person about what they want, about them want like them coming into separation. This is going to take this karmic person off guard. They don't see this coming. They didn't expect that divine masculine will agree. Like they by throwing it out, they're saying, masculine, you know what? I can just maybe we should separate. Or maybe I I meet somebody new. Maybe I should meet someone new. Other people are talking about me. I feel that was just to put fear in the divine masculine, but they never thought the Divine Masculine will say or agree upon it. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe we should separate. This is going to come as a huge shock for this karmic person. And how are they going to react? Um, shows here that even Divine Masculine doesn't know. Like Divine Masculine is like, I don't know how this person is going to take this. But what I see here is that this person, they are not going to show any kind of like love, sympathy. They don't want to be fair. When the separation, when there's talks about the separation and when these two are not in that relationship or in that, um, I feel like emotionally they will be in separation as well. I see here that Divine Masculine will want to continue to be fair, right? Because that's something that that they have within them. Like, if this person was unjust to Divine Masculine, it's like Divine Masculine will, will still be fair. It's like, okay, like, if this person did this amount of work for me, it is fair, fair for them to receive this, right? Whatever that this is. As an example, that's what I'm feeling. But I see here that this karmic person in return, like once these two, you know, decide whatever they decide upon when it comes to separation or not working together anymore, this karmic person is like, they don't care about like being fair to divine masculine. It's like, I want it all. Like I want, I want it even if they didn't work for it. And I see here no love, no, no remorse, no fairness. Um, it's like this. They will treat your masculine like a stranger. It's like masculine. I feel like masculine is like all this time. I've done so much for this connection and for this person. And in the end, this person is acting like they don't even know me. Because this this karmic person will, I see, um, they will do things the way they that they want to. And... They will feel like I don't need to show any kind of respect for a masculine because we're, we're no longer together or, um, you know, 
masculine already knows I don't have these feelings for them. So why should I pretend that I do? Or why should I continue to pretend that I do when I don't? So that's what I see here in this reading. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.